Well, good morning from Home Ag Canada this morning during the Woodworking Technology Days. I'm here with our partner, uh, Home Ag Canada, and uh, Nelio is going to take us into the showroom and uh, show us what's new at Home Ag. Thanks, everyone, and uh, we look forward to showing you a little bit of what we're doing this year. Come on in. This year at uh, Woodworking Technology Days, we're featuring uh, a few new pieces of automation that we'd like to present to uh, the industry and uh, showcase them live so that everybody can get a feel for what we're trying to, uh, uh, to address this year, and that's the needs for uh, efficiency, uh, cost savings, and uh, the, the issues of labor shortages. So. so, Nelio, tell us a little bit about this machine and what type of customer would be looking for this. I know that one of our customers here in Canada is running this machine in a high production environment, but tell us a little bit more about it. The Drilltech H600 has the capability to run two parts at once with a high speed drilling machine, or you can choose to do one panel at a time, or later on add a robot. Take our two panels, put it on the infeed conveyor, and it then measures your panel in the X and in the Y direction, takes it into its clamps, brings it into the machine, fills it, routes it or grooves it, and leaves it out on the outfit table. So this machine is designed for running two panels at a time. Can we also run two different sides of the same panel? In the case of faucet partitions, you could run two different panels on a, uh, two different drilling patterns on a single panel. So, uh, thus reducing uh, the, the set of time to flip a panel in order to do the other side. Yeah, that's perfect because our microvellum uh, library for our closet gives you the option to either do the double panel scenario or also be able to drill on both sides of the panel. So a machine like this really gives flexibility yeah. to that sort of design. Yeah. Yeah, so this is an interesting machine. Um, not a huge application for our microvellum uh, users, but definitely for uh, some other solid wood applications, uh, very custom parts. Uh, tell us a bit about how this would integrate and how you would program uh, a machine like this. Uh, this year we're featuring uh, the Greta Poker V5, which is a, a CNC lathe five axis machine. Uh, in the particular uh, demonstration we're doing today, we are uh, doing custom uh, uh, baseball bats, but this is just one of the many features you could do on this machine. Uh, we can also do stair railing spindles and uh, custom chair legs. Uh, so the, the strength of this machine is being able to hold parts that are not capable of being supported on a, a clamp style machine uh, or a, a pot and rail style machine, uh, which would be very hard to uh, hold down and machine. So this is definitely much more interesting than just a regular CNC lathe looking at the, the spiral parts and different things that you can do. Um, and what sort of software do you use to program a machine like this? On this machine, uh, they, they currently use VDX software on it, but they are available for any post processor from any other company to work with them. Uh, so it's, it's not an issue to integrate other third party software into this particular machine. So we're running a variety of microvellum programs from the nesting machines, and here we've got some horizontal boring. So it looks like you've got a couple of different horizontal boring machines. So tell us a bit about what the differences are, what the different applications would be. So we have a wide array of uh, drill and doweling machines, anywhere from uh, a single uh, X-axis servo-driven to uh, an XYZ servo-driven. Uh, to multi-spindle uh, uh, in the vertical and in the horizontal. Uh, to uh, We're also featuring uh, another drill and dowel machine where we also have the capability to route uh, vertically and horizontally. So uh, a very good array of, of uh, drill and dowel machines depending on the needs of the customers and what they want to achieve. Uh, more and more people ask asking for a smaller footprint and the machines to be a little bit more versatile. So we want to listen to the market. We want to bring solutions that fit their needs. As you see here, we have our power touch control, uh, which you could find on our edge vendors, on our CNC's, on most every home ag machine. 
making it easy to adapt to various machines in their shop. And so on this part, um, we've got our bottom panel here for the cabinet. It has a barcode that we would barcode scan, and exactly. the operator would just load up that program and run it straight exactly. off the CNC. As you see here, we have pneumatic reference points for the left, right, and center, allowing your panel to overhang when it is over four feet. We also have three spindles horizontally, allowing your operator to either put in a panel uh, horizontally, or we have the capability to take it and put it vertically. We're doing, for example, drilling for your cam fixtures. So it looks like on this machine, we're uh, running some five piece doors today, and these could be programmed in microvellum uh, to create all of your parts, have them cut on the panel saw or the nesting machine, and then you bring them over here. Uh, so tell us a bit about the differences between this machine, which is a bit larger, uh, and the previous machine yeah. we're looking at. So on this machine, uh, we have a vertical and a horizontal router, allowing you to do five piece melamine doors on here. Uh, we also have the capability to have the clamps servo driven, so it calibrates to whatever height your panel is. If you are getting various, uh, various thicknesses on our previous machine, it's a, a manual adjustment of the clamps. Here, it's completely servo driven. Also, we're featuring a Kelly guide, which uh, allows your operator to know what size or what width piece you should be entering into the machine without having a secondary process of measuring a part. Here, you'll see how our servo driven axis works to adapt to the thickness of the panel. It shows us or indicates to us exactly what the width of the part should be when entered. Take it inside the machine, you put it against its reference stop on the right hand side and along the back. All right, so now we're uh, here with Matt, and Matt's going to walk us through a little bit more of the panel processing, so some of the storage systems uh, and the saws and nesting routers. So thanks, right, Matt. Good morning. Yeah, no problem. We're going to take a walk back through. We'll show you the StoreTech S200 machine that's feeding both our SawTech B200 and our nesting cell Senatech N500. What we're showing right here is the ability on this saw to have what we call our power concept solution. So we're actually going to cross cut two strips at the same time and get different size parts. So we'll do a trim cut first, and then you'll see that they'll push at different times to get me two different cross cut parts at the same time. Obvious cost savings by being able to cross cut multiple parts at the same time. So we talk about about a 40% savings in time on a cell like this. You can see we're getting different size parts coming out at the same time off of two ripped strips to get multiple cuts and obvious time saving. So we're here in front of our Cenotech N500 nesting machine being fed by our StoreTech S200. Microvellum provided both programs for MDF cabinet doors as well as a 5x10 white melamine sheet both being nested on this machine. Labels also provided by Microvellum being run through our automatic labeling system. So the sheet will get dropped on the roller table, automatically labeled, and then at the same time that I'm pushing out my completed sheet, I'm bringing in my new labeled sheet all in one. So this machine has two different arms to allow you to do the labeling and uh, the gantry to run separately. That's correct. Everything is running at the same time for a fully automated production. The store tech will always prioritize the machine when it needs a sheet. So once the sheet that's completely labeled is pulled into the machine, then we will place a new sheet. While the CNC itself is cutting, the CNC labeling will also be labeling my next sheet. 
gives the operator the ability to come to the end of the machine to offload those parts for destacking for downstream process. Well, we're, uh, we're here with Boos and he's going to walk us through a little bit about sanding and finishing and uh, those aspects of the business. Fantastic. Thanks. Again, thanks again, yeah. Microvello, for putting this on for us and, and doing this for your, for your customers and our industry. Uh, my name is Moose. Uh, full name is Murat Sezen. But everyone's welcome to call me Moose. So I'm with Homemade Canada, the product specialist for everything surfaces. So what we have on display is our Hesemann MFA Impression Series. It is a forehead unit. It's a machine that's well versed in doing many different tasks. So we have a lot of finishing capabilities, a lot of uh, calibration capabilities, and also three dimensional. The, the beauty of the interface here is a full work industrial PC. It allows the end user to have complete control of all their sanding functions. Uh, he Simmons claims the fame obviously is its construction, its chassis, rigidness. One of the things we have, especially in the segmented pad section of cross belts, wide belts, fine finished heads. Eastman has a great technology, what we call uh, segmented magnetic pad systems. We actually have three sensing wheels that communicate to one of our segmented pads. So those three wheels, depending when they're on the surface, the sanding pressure automatically is changing. And these wheels are not just sensing height, but the wheel itself is actually a tachometer. So every couple of millimeters as the wheel is turning, it's sending the signal to the magnetic system that's driving the pad down. So it's truly a dynamic system. It's not a pneumatic system where it's just on and it's off. That pad is an actual constant flux. It's actually adjusting its pressure depending on those sensing wheels. So a configuration that you see here in front of us, we have a cross belt, we have a combination head. A combination head is a machine that could do light calibration. We do have a steel roller in the front, but we could also do what we call four segmented pad sanding. We could also do veneer sanding with that head. Then we get into what we call our segmented pad with chevron. Here is that we take away all the fine finishes. So whether it's fine sanding on veneer, lacquer sanding, and also this machine gives the capability of other different types of lacquer sanding and we could do high gloss work. We also use a configuration like this for some of you who might be doing solid surfaces like Corian. We're able to process Corian parts through this configuration as well. When it comes to the three-dimensional work, what we normally call brush sanding, we have our DBS head, it is our planetary system, fully extractable, makes it ease of operation, changing brushes. Uh, we can go from what we call raw sanding, breaking edges, working on raw MDF, by simply just swapping out the brushes, they pop out. We can put lacquer sanding grid in there. We can move into wire brush work, where we can do the high definition grain pulling, we can also replace these with a flat disc to do certain work at different parameters as well. So this is a very versatile configuration for many of those who are actually doing everything. So this machine would allow you to change out from one process to the next. So from your veneer sanding, one moment over to sealing right. sanding, uh, veneer sanding, right 100%. through MDF doors, all those sorts of things. Hundred percent. Here we want to show this here to a market sector that maybe is in the spray booth and they're a little bit you know, hesitant getting into automated spraying. So we want to show someone a very simple solution, which is our single arm Mac or spray machine. It is the Mac or start one. It is a paper feed system. Uh, the unit itself, many people will say entry level. We like to say entry footprint. The controls that we have with this machine here are the same controls of its bigger brother, bigger sister. So we'll have a look at the edge bander side of things here at Home Ag, uh, and Andreas is going to walk us through that. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Um, so we here in our uh, showroom, we show three edge benders. This one here is uh, 2520. We have uh, it's our industrial edge bender, 25 meters a minute, with the uh, new um, Wood Commander 5 3D um, controller. We have a six coil magazine with automatic change, change over. All of our edge benders that we have on the show run uh, AirTech. On this machine, we also run polyolefin and then we have PUR 
and EVA. Look, we cover all the bases. We have end trim, top bottom, corner rounding, profile scraping, blue scraping, buffing. And at the end, we have meters to bring uh, the color back into the edge bending. So our small edge bender is the S200, also um, with jointing, end trim, top, bottom, corner rounding, and glue scraping. And then we have, with a little bit more automation, our uh, 4.5 edge bender, we hope to see you here soon, and then we can go through some of more of the details. I love to talk about our chain and the heavy duty um, stuff that we do with our edge benders. Thank you. Thanks, Andreas.